Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. I have an urgent prayer request that I need to put up. I found it in the comments as I went to look to answer some of your comments. And this is from The King is Coming, but his name is Chris. Here's what he asks. Prayer team, I need critical prayer for my mother as soon as possible. Been with you a long time, always praying for you and the team here. She, Eleanor, had emergency surgery and needs her heart and blood pressure to increase as soon as possible. This was a day ago. The surgery went okay. They removed a small blockage in the intestine. She is saved born again and believes in all the full gospel since 1944, is faithful with six boys. Ah, thank you, Brother Chris. Okay, or I should say thank you, Brother Chris, from Brother Chris. Okay, <laughs> that should make sense. All right, and I asked... Uh, I believe I'm going to change my comment. She's not that old. I was thinking 44, but then she's been saved since she was 44. So I don't know how old she is. She could be just 80 and real healthy, you know, and wants to go in the rapture. You know, I want to be with the Lord, but I also want to be, to be part of that end time harvest army so you know i'd be torn too if i was you know in her spot you know i'd be like oh i'd like to go be with the lord right now but i'd also like to be part of the rapture you know first fruits and all that so let's pray that god's will be done and that if he would allow it to let her blood pressure and her heart, I guess, let's see, she need, her heart and blood pressure, heart rate maybe you mean. Let her heart rate and blood pressure return to normal as soon as possible. And for no sepsis to set in at all, in the name of Jesus, I plead blood of Jesus over that int intestinal area I pray that it heals completely the way it should and not have any leakage because that's what happened to Pastor Dave so we're declaring that will not happen to Eleanor I pray over her right now this minute even though I want Father's will to be done, he may want her to come on home. But he also, Jesus might want her as part of his harvest army team because he doesn't have that many. The harvest is plentiful. There's a whole lot of people need harvested, but the workers are few. The people that are going to go first and come back to do the harvesting, so to speak, are few in comparison that's why revelation 7 9 says it's a multitude too large to number is gets raptured right then appears in heaven and it's not a resurrection that comes later although it says the dead in christ shall rise um again i mentioned Grafted in Team Jesus because that's where I'm learning new things. And several of us have, well, I think it was Kathy who first mentioned it. Do you suppose where it talks about the dead in Christ shall rise and then, then could mean a week from then? A minute from then, a month from then, 40 days from then, but and then we who are alive and remain will meet the Lord in the air. Okay, 
What if the dead in Christ means those who have died put their flesh to death, come out of the world fully committed, fully ready, fully dead to the world? Those who are dead in Christ. You see how that makes sense? Because why else would it not be considered a resurrection? The Bible explicitly states that those who are resurrected when Jesus returns sets his feet on the earth not to get his bride, not to rapture the multitude too large to number, but when he comes back to set up his kin kingdom, the first resurrection happens. And then the second resurrection happens of the sinners after the thousand year millennial reign. If you have any questions on that, I'll be very happy to do a lesson on it because I'd have to look up all the scriptures. But I wanted to get this prayer request up and I pray that everybody will pray that with me and I'll be praying for her as well, Chris. And But that Father's will be done, okay? In Jesus' precious and holy name, I pray. May Father's will be done, but I pray that she gets to go with us up in the first fruits rapture, the first harvest, barley harvest, whatever you want to call it. It's going to be so wonderful. It, it will be just so wonderful. So, all right, I'll end it here, and I plead the blood of Jesus over this video. And over each and every one of you, over all of us, our devices, and our internet connections. And with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.